Hey everyone, welcome back. And today what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna go ahead and take a look and see how dirty my computer is, my old computer. And what I'm doing right now is I'm actually going through the process. Well, by the time that this video is uploaded, I would have already made the switch over, but I pretty much upgraded my system to Ryzen. And I've been using the Intel Core i7-4790K for about, I think, four years, 2015. And it's a pretty good system overall. It's got it's it's been able to uh, do a lot. I mean, as, you know, aside from gaming, or besides from gaming, um, photo editing, video editing, rendering, things like that. And it's been a pretty good workhorse for quite a few years. And just to give you some quick uh, specs on this old system, we have the Intel Core 74790K. Um, I did do some slight overclocking to about 4.2 ish, 4.5 gigahertz. Um, at 4.5, 4.6, there were times where it wasn't really 100% stable, but it was able to run for like the most part. Uh, with the motherboard, it is a, an MSI Z97 uh, Gaming 7 motherboard, uh, full ATX. Uh, it does have an M2 slot, which I, I wish I would have used this slot, but I never really got a chance to. And um, yeah, I mean, that's one thing that I kind of miss out on, and, and at least with the new system, I was able to go ahead and incorporate that type of drive into the new one. Now, when it comes to graphics card, with this overall system, I started off, I think, initially with an R9290 from MSI, and AMD R9290, and from there, I've upgraded to a GTX 980 Ti, and then after that, the GTX 1080 Ti, and that's actually what I'll be switching over to the new system. Uh, with RAM, it does have 32 gigabytes of G-Scale Trident memory at 2400 megahertz, and overall, this this system was pretty awesome. I mean, it still is, but I did want to upgrade. And ever since Ryzen came out, I've always wanted to go ahead and and make the jump, even from like the very first generation from about a couple years ago. But I just kept telling myself to just hold off. The performance gains weren't going to be too much compared to the uh, i7. But then I went ahead and, and, and I did wait. The year after the new series came out, uh, the because I, I was going to go for the 1700 or the 1800X, and then the seven, the 2700 came out, and I, I I almost made the jump. But I told myself just hold on. And then finally this year, with the 3700, I went ahead and upgraded to that or the 3700X. And I'm 100% 100 happy. I couldn't be more thrilled. And overall, it is a really awesome system. But basically with this video, what we're doing, we're just gonna go ahead and take out the old system from under my desk. It is using, everything's in, inside of the Fantex Evolve ATX case, um, which it looks great, but it has horrible, poor airflow. And that's the one thing I, I don't like about this overall case. But visually, it is stunning. But it's, it's what I have for right now. So we're gonna go ahead and take it outside. We're gonna uh, unplug everything, take it outside, and do our best to clean it out. And I do wanna clean every component inside of it before I submit. You know, it, it's kind of one of those things that a lot of us have where we don't wanna move something over to some, somewhere else without properly cleaning it. Otherwise, you just don't feel right. So that's what I wanna do, I mean, for this whole process. And I won't show you everything. It's just it's just a quick rundown of, of, uh, of me taking my old system outside and cleaning it and putting it back on my desk and kind of like taking it apart. But again, it's not gonna be a, a long, long video. We're pretty much almost done with it. Uh, but yeah, so I, 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 and also I wanna clean everything out because the Intel uh, processor with the motherboard and the RAM, I am gonna be selling um, so that way I can help recover my cost, some of it towards the upgrade that I'm working on. And uh, yeah, so once we are, we're done with the cleaning, we're just gonna bring it back inside and just start taking everything apart. Everything was thoroughly clean as best as possible on my end. I was able to uh, pretty much disassemble the whole overall system. I was able to wipe everything down as best as possible. Power supply, the drives, the overall case, every nook and cranny that I can get access to in the case I did. I just took this whole thing apart, cleaned it out as best as possible, and then uh, slowly started putting the new build, the new components into this overall uh, case and you know making the new system. Uh, but that's about it. Uh, yeah, so the whole process was just pretty much taking the old thing out of my desk from underneath, taking it outside, cleaning it, putting it back to, well, not cleaning it, taking it apart, just going through every single component, 
and uh, going from there. Now the one thing I did do is I did go ahead and, and temporarily switch over to the um, the Weapon X58 system because I was gonna I, I didn't want to rush this whole thing. It took me a few days to put everything together the way I wanted it, so I was using Weapon X58 as my temporary system in the meantime, which actually I didn't really notice much or a huge difference between my i7 4790K and the uh, X5675 Xeon processor in terms of overall daily performance and usage. And even I even did render, uh, I think one or two videos uh, for this channel on the uh, X5675 processor, which is pretty cool. So I, that's a pretty good system, and I don't think I'll be getting rid of that anytime soon. But uh, yeah, that's that's about it. Um, I will uh, maybe keep you guys updated with some updates on the um, new system. Uh, and, and I did mention a while back, a couple videos ago, about giving you a price breakdown of what my cost was to upgrade. So I'll try to post that um, if I can. But in the meantime, I do want to thank you for watching. Take care and have a great day.